Some school districts in Hayes County are pushing for more school resource officers this upcoming school year, except for San Marcos CISD. Tonight, they approved to keep the amount of school resource officers they currently have. KXN's Sarah Alsheh explains why that is and what a parent says about it. If we can get more resource officers on campus, on all campuses, at least one or two. William Hayward has a son at San Marcos High School. That's one of the schools in the district that has school resource officers. Yeah, I love them guys, man. They, they, do a, they do a really good job in building relationships. Hayward says he wants there to be more school resource officers because it gives him peace of mind sending his son to school. There are a total of five school resource officers for the district. We have two at San Marcos High School. We have one at each of the middle schools and then we have another one that takes care of the uh, alternative campus and those five SROs are assigned at one or two elementary schools. Monday night, school board members voted to keep it that way. School board president Clementine Cantu says it's all they need to keep the district safe. All of the schools have an SRO assigned to them. They may not be housed at their campus, but we cover our school district through the assignment. She says there are ongoing talks to possibly add one more SRO next year, but that may be easier said than done. We understand that they're short staffed with the SMC at San Marcos Police Department. Hayward says if finding more school resource officers is not an option, he suggests an alternative. Hire more hall monitors, you know, peace officers. I don't know, you know, so I mean, there's always a solution, but you can't put a price on children. Sarah Alshah, KXAN News. And districts in Hayes County that are looking to add additional school resource officers for the upcoming school year are Dripping Springs ISD, Wimberley ISD, and Hayes CISD. Many teachers have told us candidly their schools don't have enough security personnel on campus. In a KXAN survey of more than 1,600 educators across Texas, 67% said they need more officers. A lack of officers at elementary schools was highlighted as a particular issue, especially after the shooting at Robb Elementary in Uvalde. We did reach out to every school district in the Austin metro area to ask if they have hired new officers. This map shows the responses we have received so far. Districts that have added officers are shaded in dark blue. Liberty Hill ISD has expanded its security presence the most, almost doubling the size of its police force. And you can compare all of the districts online right now at KXAN.com.